Click subscribe to get latest news and don't forget to press the bell icon. There is no shortage of rumors that circulate about the Trumps and the respectable parents show a great amount of restraint when it comes to dealing with what's said about their young son. Among the torrent of slander thrown around about a child who has done nothing to deserve such hate, there's one rumor which has lingered for several months now that Baron Trump's parents have just made an announcement about. Baron is a bright and strong child who has had to withstand a lot in the last several months from deranged liberals who use him as their whipping post. He's impressed with his remarkable ability to take unfathomable criticism from disgusting adults and keep smiling through every public appearance, rather than letting it get to him. Now, he has a new set of challenges ahead of him after an announcement was just made on his behalf about what he's doing today that will make history. There's been a lot of speculation about Barron's new life in Washington, D.C. after he spent the first few months of his father's presidency at his original home in New York City. Melania Trump's first priority is rightfully on her son's well-being and now it seems she's made another incredible decision with attention to what's best for him. School is back in session and Barron began the sixth grade today. While other president's children went through grade school while their father was in office, Trump's son will be the first to attend classes where he showed up for his first day today. There might also be a deeper meaning to the school that Trump's picked for him. Baron Trump, the 11-year-old son of President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump, will attend the private St. Andrews Episcopal School in Potomac, Maryland, the Chicago Tribune reported. The White House had planned to hold off until summer to make the announcement, in part because of concern that St. Andrews might become the site of protests while school was still in session. But parents began to ask questions and express security concerns as rumors surfaced, and school leaders decided to tell their community on Monday in a letter, the Tribune's report continued. Melania isn't just closely involved in her son's life, she's also hands-on with his new school. This involvement is special for a first lady in addition to the fact that Baron will be the first first son to attend this particular school. After choosing St. Andrews Melania put out the following statement, We are very excited for our son to attend St. Andrews Episcopal School. It is known for its diverse community and commitment to academic excellence. The mission of St. Andrews is to know and inspire each child in an inclusive community dedicated to exceptional teaching, learning, and service, all of which appeal to our family. We look forward to the coming school years at St. Andrews. Baron comes from a family with impressive educational backgrounds and is following in the footsteps of his adult siblings already. He's going into the sixth grade with the ability to speak two languages, English and Slovenian, thanks to his mother who brought him up in this skill. This intelligent, bilingual child possess more class and potential for a successful future than any adult who has attempted to tear him down in the last eight months. His education, development and overall happiness are so important to his hands-on mum that she personally picked out the best school for Baron, rather than simply sending him to where other president's kids have always gone. Perhaps part of the reason that Baron is attending St. Andrews, as opposed to where the Obama's daughters went, is that Michelle Obama had sunk her claws into several parents though who have her back. This could have meant that Baron's hard time with outside adults he's already dealing with, could have extended to the classroom if the wrong, snotty mums of other students got in his way. This is the second time that Baron has made history this year, and probably won't be the last considering the potential he has for his future. The first time he made history was when he moved into the White House as the first first son to live there since 1963 when John F. Kennedy was president and his junior was a toddler. The sky is the limit for this sixth grader, with parents like his and the awesome education he's going to get at his new school where he will hopefully have an awesome experience.